Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the full moon of December 7th, where we have the sun in the last degrees of Scorpio and the moon directly across the way in the last degrees of Taurus. Also there, Mars. And within this cycle, the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. If you've been watching the Lunar Lowdown, you know that the last cycle of the new moon, the galactic center asserted itself, coming forward and grabbing the microphone. Since then, I've received additional guidance to continue to go just a little bit larger. I've been asked to talk a bit more about the winter solstice as the next gate that we're approaching and how we might participate there. Let's talk about the physical reality from the perspective of the Northern Hemisphere. As we all know, the Earth orbits around our Sun. But it doesn't do that with the North Pole straight up and down in relationship to that ellipse. Instead, the Earth is tilted and that's how we get the seasons. When the axis of our Earth is pointed most to the sun, we have summer, long days and lots of heat. And then at the other extreme, when our North Pole is pointed the farthest from the sun, we get winter, short days and lots of cold. What the stars would like me to highlight for you is that we are coming to that extreme point in our whole rotation that forms one year. We are approaching this longest night and shortest day. It is a physical phenomenon, true, real, literally the ecosystem within which you live. Now that we have an understanding of the physical reality, let's drop in and find out how we can play our part for this full moon. I see the strength card, a card that shows the balance between that reactive, powerful, intuitive self and our higher, evolved, disciplined and self-controlled self and the magic that they weave to bring out the best of that lion, to bring out the best of that priestess working together. And by bringing that balance to ourselves, we become available to participate in these larger cycles, these seasonal, planetary, once yearly events. And they show me that the solstice is a reaffirmation of the circle, of the cycle, of wholeness, and of the return of the light. When we participate with the solstice, we participate with this return of the light, the re balancing that is happening around us. This feels so meaningful in these times. So much suffering, so many difficulties now. We've all been hearing about the Great Reset and all sorts of terms to define these massively transformative times within which we are living. The way to contribute from the perspective of the lunar lowdown and the inner contacts of the stars that I'm working with is to drop into this physical phenomena of our orbit around the sun. How do we do that? Get comfortable in your meditative places, settle into the directions and to the deepest root into the earth you can find. Sense the sun beyond you and using your sacred imagination feel how you are tilted away from that sun and each day in this cycle 
bringing us less and less light. Sense, see, and feel that progressive loss of light as we reach that extreme. Sense, see, and feel the promise that awaits as we reach that gate of solstice and dwell here in your consciousness. There's nowhere to go, no questions to answer, but simply lend your observation, your presence, your living consciousness to this gate. I have heard and read modern interpretations of our ancestors drumming up the sun at winter solstice and these modern accounts mocking that, that the sun is going to rise whether we drum it up or not. But this modern consciousness is completely missing the point. We join with these forces. We show up, we pay attention, even if our modern rational mind cannot understand the value in this. I invite you to try and have a personal experience of the value brought and given. These places of reciprocity, these places of respiration with the stellar realm matter. They are part of the process of weaving, reweaving, repairing the web of life on which we depend. This season, unplug from the media, unplug from the relentless commodification and commercialization, and plug in to the real light. Plug in to the return of the light. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for doing this work. It matters. I'll see you next time. Bye.